You okay? Whoa! Two arms, two legs. <laughs> well, that should get her through the night. What's left of it? Tomorrow, we'll get her proper treatment. I don't hear those dinosaurs anymore. I bet they're far away. Yeah. That reminds me of your old honey bear nightlight. Remember that? You wouldn't go to sleep without it. Yeah, dinosaurs can't get through that door, right? Not a chance. That's solid steel. Dad? Yes, sweetheart. Remember how I said I wanted to see the dinosaurs fight each other? Yeah. That was so awesome. Get some sleep, honey.
for you to take one. Under the circumstances, I think we did. This isn't supposed to happen. One loose trike, okay, but a Tyrannosaur? That's beyond unacceptable. I gotta talk to Muldoon and the security team. Uh-oh. Are you gonna bring the hammer down? Look, whoever let this happen has to be held accountable. Yeah, I'm gonna bring the hammer down. Cool. So, how are we gonna get to the visitor center? That's an excellent question. No car and no radio doesn't leave us a lot of options. Well, at least the main power's back on. That should be good for something. And we have video. How did you do that? It's an easy hack. The system's held together with spit and bailing wire, like everything else in this damn park. Looks like we're not the only ones who missed the boat. They won't last long in the open. Let's get them out of there. How do we get to them? We're miles away, and the access road is washed out. We may be stuck here in the boondocks, but those two are standing right on the main tour loop. Watch this. I'll be damned. They must have cycled main power. Why would they do that? Well, isn't that helpful? Come on! You didn't say the magic word! Oh, Dennis Nedry. You want a magic word? I've got some just for you. Of course. All right, we've got access. Let's see what we can do with it. Any of this is still working. Huh? It looks like the trunk line at the visitor center is back up. Does that help us? Not really, but it might help those folks on the road if we can get them a ride. Well, the marine exhibit's online. Fat lot of good that does us out here. Well, in case we need a confirmation that our phones are out, here it is. Oh, no surprise there. The storm must have torn up the line. Ah, here we go. I just hope the system's online. Yeah, more like it. How long have I been saying this whole park is doomed to catastrophic failure? Pretty long. But one of these junk heaps is still working. Okay, little lambs, just wait right there and I'll send a car to fetch you. Welcome aboard! Hello? Somebody knows we're here. Only never ever hitchhike. Except when you're on an island full of dinosaurs. Come on, honey, let's get our patient. <gasps> Where is this thing gonna take us? These tour cars only go a few places. 
if you can hear us, we need to go to the visitor center. Looks like one of them's hurt. I'm surprised it's only one. Let's get him to the center. Here we go. Get this cargo any faster? It's gonna take forever. Oh. You've been in an accident. You're safe now. You're gonna be fine. We're taking you to... Bastardo! Moridas por tus pecados! Calm down. What's happening? She's delirious. She could be hallucinating. Mariquita! She says I I'm, I'm her angel. Hola, como estas? No sabes cuánto he esperado. Jess, just keep talking to her. Tell her she needs to relax. She's got to rest. My Spanish isn't that good. You can do it, honey. Just, just tell her she needs to rest. Mariquita, ¿qué pasa, mi amor? Uh, uh... Usted? Evita. La biblioteca? Usted evita la biblioteca. I know. También hay monstruos ahí. No, wait. I didn't say that quite right. Yogo? Odia? La resta? Yogo odia la resta. El yogur. Eso no tiene sentido. Oops. El... El descanso? El come el descanso. Okay. ¿De qué estás hablando? Tell her she needs rest. Yeah, I got it. Usted? Necesita. El descanso? Usted necesita el descanso. El descanso? Sí, sí. Estoy cansada. Huh. I thought you got all A's in Spanish. Yeah, I kind of forged that. Sorry. Dad, look! I think this is our stop. This concludes our tour. Don't forget to visit the gift shop on your way home. That is messed up. Let's go. Hello? Hey, can somebody help us, please? Hello? What happened? Where is everybody? Well, the boat hasn't brought everyone back yet. Rough waters, maybe. Jess? I think you should stay by our patient. I'm gonna look around a little, okay? Okay, but why are you talking like that? Someone's trying to contact us, right? It's coming from the PA system. They must be broadcasting on the emergency channel. Hang on, I'm gonna track this down. Nothing here. It's Sickle Claw on the second digit. Velociraptor. What the hell happened here? How you doing, Jess? Hanging in there? I need a smoke. I'll take that as I'm fine, Dad. I don't know how they got in here or what killed them. 
I really don't feel like finding out. I can't hear myself think. It's giving me a headache. I'll turn down the volume. As soon as I figure out how to turn down the volume. I bet every radio in Jurassic Park is picking up this signal. Our patient. Pretty much the same. She doesn't look so good. Well, that does not look normal. Are you one of the nice dinosaurs? Like the kind that didn't try to step on me last night? It's gotta be safer in here than out there. Hey, are you okay? Found anything? Nope, but I think I'm getting warmer. Should we, like, get out of here? I just need to figure out where this broadcast is coming from. We've seen better days, huh? Nope. It looks so harmless in the picture. What happened? Hold on. Seriously, messed up. There's a radio in there. Can I help? You got it. Let's get this channel right. This is Jerry Harding. I'm the chief veterinarian. I know who you are. This is Laura Sorkin. I hope you enjoyed the ride. Dr. Sorkin, you're still on the island? We're stuck in the field lab. The road's washed out and our phone lines are down. What's your story? We saw a T-Rex on the tour road. My daughter and I are lucky to be alive. Do you know what's going on? Security went down last night. Naturally, the park's going to hell. Looks like Hammond already evacuated. I don't think he meant to leave us. No, of course not. I'll try to call the mainland from here. They'll send a helicopter. But first, Doctor, I've got a very, very sick woman on my hands. She seems to have been bitten. I, I don't recognize the bite. Whatever it is, it's incredibly toxic. Toxic? And... Is it a ragged wound? Heterodont bite pattern about 20 centimeters across the jaw? That sounds about right. What about her eyes? Discolored sclera, opsoclonus? Yes, exactly. That's exactly what I'm Damn seeing. It. You don't have much time. She's going to go into a series of convulsions and she won't come back. Do you have any carfentanil? Carfentanil? An opioid? No, I, I don't, Doctor, but I mean, what good would that... I don't have time to explain. A quarter mil should do it. Uh, Doctor Sorkin, small. with all due respect, that dosage would kill Dr. her. Dr. Harding, you've got to trust me on this. You need a powerful tranquilizer to counter the toxins. You need it quick. All right. If you want uh, to... All right. Okay. Uh, maybe in the lab. No. No. Wait. The trank darts for the rifle. That's in a torphine blend. That could work. Get that into her as quick as you can. In the meantime, stay. 
stay with her. When the shaking starts, you need to hold her steady. But, isn't that dangerous? I mean, normally if someone's having a seizure... Please, just follow my instructions. Her life depends on it. Call me on this channel after you've given her the tranquilizer. Will do. I need to move that woman so I can work on her, and I'm gonna need... Tranquilizer darts. Yeah, I heard. They're in the car. I'll get them. Okay, but listen to me. If you hear anything, see anything, don't take any risks. You just come straight back here. Don't worry. I'm on it. Jess, get out now! <laughs>